everybody, it is the Grave Man, and today we're talking about props that I'm getting this year. And it's going to be lit, so let's start talking about props. Um, so I'm supposed to be getting a job this year, if you guys didn't know. And um, I just uh, want to talk about um, props that I want to get. And uh, so let's talk about those props. So number one, the Jemmy Michael Myers. Um, Either going to get the H2O Michael Myers or the Rob Zombie Michael Myers. They're both great props. Um, the Rob Zombie is good. Um, so is the... Sorry about that, guys. Um, but, um, yeah, they're both phenomenal props. I might get both of them someday. So, second, number two is... Um, the Jemmy Leatherface. Um, this is a really cool prop. And uh, it might creep people out if I get him. He's a lot of money. And I can understand. Um, his chain moves when he goes off. And uh, I think his chainsaw is separate. You can get a new chainsaw for him. So that's pretty cool. Um, his body moves, his, his wrist moves up and down for the chainsaw, the move, and the chain moves on the chainsaw. Um, his head moves and his eyes move also. Um, he's, he, people pay too many, too much money for him on eBay, but if I can get one that needs a, a body turn replacement, like a gear, is split, um, I'm probably gonna buy one and just replace the gear and the body turn. Um... Okay, number three, the Jemmy Pinhead. Um, the, my local Halloween store I live near um, has the Pinhead prop, and there's no issues with him whatsoever. He works. His butt, his purple button is a little fidgety. I pressed him on uh, on uh, on Friday, and he went pit. And I had to press him again. He went. He moved his head. And he went like that, and I had to press him again, and it worked. I pressed him like. You know, his button is a little, was a little, um, fidgety, which is fine. Um, guys, let me know in the comments down below if that's a circuit board issue, because if that is a circuit board issue, I'm not going to buy them. But you know how sometimes, you know how people made videos of their Jemmy Cauldron Witch? When they press the button, it, it doesn't, it goes, boop. It goes like that, and they have to press it again to get it going. Well, that's like Pinhead. He only did that once, and he's never done that before. But I must have pressed the button some... I don't know how that happened, but I must have pressed it a certain way. Um, um, but... Anyway, number four. The Jemmy... 2010 Freddy Krueger. I love this prop. It's so, it's so awesome. He's such a good prop too, and uh, I think that's what makes him really awesome because he's so cool. Um, I really like that red thing going up on the screen. It gives it a cool effect. Um, anyways, his arm moves. His fingers move. His body moves side to side, his head moves, his mouth moves, and his eye move. Um, there, he's a really cool prop. He's definitely creepy. Um, he's so cool. Uh, number five. Um, the Jemmy Edwardian Butler. and Or the Jemmy Fat Butler. Probably the Jemmy Edwardian Butler. He's a really good prop. The Fat Butler is still a good prop too, but the Awarding Butler is just a little bit better. Um, his his chest goes out, up and out and in, in, in and out when he breathes, and his his head moves and his eyes move. Um, his mouth is not supposed to move; it's actually like attached to the other piece of the lip, so it's kind of cool. Um, what else? Um. What else did Jemmy make? The Jemmy Midnight Countess. Um, I've heard a lot of people say she's a good prop.
her eyes don't move, but she holds a candle, like a candle kind of thing, chandelier kind of thing, and there's like three or four candles on here. There's three, and they light up blue, I think, or something like that, when she speaks, and uh, she's really cool, but she's not cheap. Um, but for what you're buying, it's what you're getting, and it's so awesome. I think this is number six. Um, what else is there? I thought Jemmy, oh yeah, the Jemmy ghost face. This is a good prop. You want to talk about awesome. Um, he's so awesome. I showed my dad him today. He thought he was pretty cool. I'm like, yeah, but he's not cheap on eBay. And uh, if I ever, he's a, he's getting pretty rare now. I'm not going to lie, even though he was, he was first made in 2011 and was sold in 2012 and those were the leftovers in 2012. Um, he's really cool. I think he's like six foot two or six, six foot one or six foot two. I can't remember one of them. I think he's six foot two though. Um, but he's super cool. His, his arm that holds a knife goes down and when his body turns that way and when his body goes that way, his arm goes up. His head moves, his eyes light up. Um, he doesn't have moving eyes because Ghostface doesn't have eyes in the movie. Well, he does, but he, there's a person in a mask called Ghostface, obviously. Um, what else did Jemmy make? Uh, the Jemmy Fortune Witch. This is a good prop. It's a classic. Um, it's very good. I remember a long time ago seeing the mini versions of the Face Rippers and I've always wanted one and they were sold at a Superstore. And unfortunately, I never got my hands on one and they were made by Magic Power. And I've, I never got my hands on one. I got one of the Jemmy Frady, Frady cats. The ones where the backs go up like that and they go meow, meow. And they have big green eyes and there's a version with big green orange big orange eyes and his mouth moves. He goes row, 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 you know. He's super cool. His back went up when, when he meowed twice or something like that. And his, his head moved and his mouth moved. He sang a song. And um, I do I don't think I have him still laying around somewhere. But he was probably thrown out by mistake when we were moving. And it was very unfortunate because I got one the second day it broke. Brand new and I had to get a new one. And it broke because someone dropped it. Unfortunately. Um, but I'm probably going to get it again. Because it was a good childhood Halloween decoration. Like you know. If I got that. It would definitely bring back childhood childhood memories by far, because I had the one with the green eyes, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. I don't think it was the one with the orange eyes. I think it was the one with the green eyes. It was. And the reason why I prefer that one, it looks more like a cat. The one with the orange eyes ha has weird eyes, um, but the one with the green eyes is better. Um, and, uh... I grew up with that Halloween decoration that Jemmy made. The little Jemmy animated Freddy cat. I'll probably get that again this year if I can find one for like 60 bucks on eBay. It's so cool though. Um, what else did they make? Okay, let's move on to Spear Halloween props. Um, the towering creepy clown. I'm ho I want to get him this year. He's so cool. He's such a good prop, too. He's he's not the he's not better than the Jemmy props. He's not better than the old school Jemmy props like the Cauldron Witch and the Jason. You know, he's he's not as good as them props. He's not as good as the old Jemmy props, but he's he's a good Spirit Halloween prop. He's one of Spirit Halloween's best props. Um, Spirit Halloween didn't make him, I think, Seasonal Visions or someone made him or something like that. I can't remember. Neck, but he's super cool. His body moves from side to side. 
his head moves and his arm, his, his mouth moves. And uh, he's super cool. I really want to get him, but I don't know. Um, Forest Demon. Forest Demon, okay. Forest Demon, the thing about him, he can be faulty. If you guys get Forest Demon, do not use him a lot because he could break. So only use him like once th in three weeks. Like once a, in th one, press him like once in three weeks because he will break. Um, he's super cool though. Um, okay. Um, what else do I want? The new... <sighs> the new, okay, Seasonal Visions 2018 show. Or the Halloween Party 2018 show, okay. I want to get Sweet Dreams. Sweet Dreams is the new clown prop. He's basically Towering Clown with a whole new design. Has the same movement. Has a better face. He has a better mouth movement. Movement. Um, his mouth, his mouth isn't all fricked up. His face isn't all fricked up either. Um, his head moves the exact same as Towering Clown, and so does his his body and his mouth. Um, he actually has one more new animation for than Towering Clown, and that's the child that's upside down and it sways back and forth. It's super cool. Next, the new dragon prop that we got to see at the Halloween Party City 2018 show, the dr winter, the winter dragon. Now this is a pretty good prop. It's either 12 feet or 11 feet. Uh, I wouldn't say 11 feet. It's around 9 feet or 10 feet. Um, if it's like, if it was 12 feet, that'd be insane. But it's probably not 12 feet tall. It's probably at least 9 or 8 feet. And it's probably $380 or or $400, but it's probably in the 300 section. So probably $380 it's going to be. Um, I couldn't see it being $400, but it's probably going to be like $380. Um, what else is there? Jemmy made some, like, Halloween animated stuff in the past. That is really cool. Um, I can't remember, though. Um, oh, yeah, the Jemmy life-size singing, dancing skeleton. I want that. And the Jemmy singing, dancing Frankenstein. So awesome. Um, next, the Jemmy party monster. His, um, his head moves. He sings the monster mash. His head moves, his eyes move, his his mouth moves. He's such a classic. He comes with a candy bowl, and you can fill that with candy. Uh, what what else? Um, the Jemmy Brain Monster. This one is super cool, and I think that a lot of people would really like. Really like him. Um. I'm gonna have a um what we're gonna do with the party monster was is we're gonna fill his candy bowl with candy and when people we're gonna have him we're gonna have him not in the haunt if I get him he's not gonna be in the haunt and you're probably thinking why well I'm gonna have him near the cash register and uh well he's gonna be like near the cash register area but basically, we're gonna have a sign, and it's and it's gonna say, I. It's gonna say take, two or one or two candies out of his dish, if you dare. This party month, we're gonna have someone. Um. We're gonna have a sign right beside the party monster, and it's gonna say take one, candy out of the bowl if you dare and um the problem is though he's big and little kids won't be able to like actually take something out of there so yeah um the brain monster okay his arms move 
um, his head moves, and his mouth moves, and his eyes move, and his heart, the, the circle thing over here actually lights up red, and his brain lights up like a purple blue, it's super cool, and his eyes light up, and I think his eyes move, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure his eyes do move, um, it's, it's pretty cool though, for what he does, um, what else did Jemmy make? Oh yeah, the Jemmy Butler Skeleton. Um, there's actually different ones. There's one that has a lantern that does this. And he talks to you and it's super cool. Well, his arm does that with the lantern and his head moves and his mouth moves. And his eyes light up red. Um, next, this is a really cool one. The Jemmy Count Vigor, the first, mo the first model. The first model... There's actually a second model too, but the second model has eyes that light up red. And the first model has eyes that light... No, the second model has eyes that light up white, which I do not like. And the one, the second model has eyes that light up red, which is so much better. Because it matches him, because he's a vampire. Um, he has a candy bowl too. And basically, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to have someone take one candy out of his, um, we're not going to have a sign for him because people are probably going to know that you can take candy out of his dish. And uh, if anyone asks, uh, can you take candy out of his dish? I'm going to be like, go right ahead. Um, I might put Count Vigor or the party monster and I'm probably going to put Count Vigor in the haunt. And basically, we're going to have an actor beside Count Vigor. And we're going to have someone saying, take a candy out of my friend's dish. We're going to have a vampire actor. My friend here, Count Vigor, said he will let you take a candy out of his dish. Now, he might have to say some things to you first. But... Sounds good, right? Okay, this thing might break eventually, hopefully not. <laughs> actually, you know what? That's actually pretty hard glass too, right? Doesn't break that easy, holy crap. That was my crystal ball, my spirit ball, I like to call it. Um, but we're gonna have a vampire. I might have my Uncle Steven dress up as a vampire. And we're going to tell him, I was wondering if you could put your hair back with, like, water and gel. And I will wet your hair for you, comb your hair back with water, and you'll be good to go. And, um, and I might even see if I can do his face. Um, I'm going to see if I can do his, I'm going to paint his um, face white with black circles around his eyes. And basically I'm gonna I'm gonna spray his water. I'm gonna spray his hair with water. And then I'm gonna put it back. And then I'm gonna put like um I'm gonna wait for that to harden. And I'm gonna tell him, don't touch it. Um, um I don't know. Or I might just leave his hair. Um, if he wants to put his hair back with water, I will do it. But I don't know how long it will last. Hopefully, it does last. Um, I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll do it some way. Um, basically, I might have my uncle dressed up as a vamp, dress up as a vampire, and um, I'm gonna have him beside Count Vigor, and he's gonna say, "Come, come." I dare you to take a candy out of his dish. Take a candy. Um, he's gonna be like, take, take one. My friend here, Count Vigor, said you can take uh, one candy out of his dish. And he said he might have to say some things to you when you come, so don't mind. He might have to stay a little bit before you go through the whole thing. Um, but yeah. And it would be such a cool um, scene for the haunt. And uh, every person that goes through, he has to do that. Now, if there's no candy in his dish um, left, scare people. Um, but just stand, just 
just have your head down and go like that, you know? Um, but anyway, um, yeah, Jemmy made a lot of good props this year. They have like a new zombie Frankenstein looking prop and the H Halloween Party City 2018 show. Someone got a video of it and it's not that good. Uh, the new Jemmy zombie Frankenstein prop or whatever it was supposed to be. His eyes lit up, he talked, and that was it. And his mouth moved. That was it. No, no more animation than that. And it was kind of weird, like... It was funny, but it wasn't, like, something I was ever going to buy. Um, I wasn't very happy with it, and it was very disappointing. I was expecting more than that from Jemmy for 2018, and I really hope they have more props, more life sizes and props for this year that are just going to blow me away like they used to in the back in the day. Um, but anyways, guys, so... Those are the props that I want to get, and now I can't get them all, but there is going to be there is going to be ones that I'm going to get from Jemmy, and uh, I'm probably going to start with Jemmy, not Spirit Halloween props, um, you know, because Jemmy is a great company, and uh, I would I can't wait. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the other video. Um, Halloween will be here in a few months. It's coming quickly. Halloween is coming very quick. Quicker than I expected it to come. It, it can't, it's coming quicker than it did last year, guys. And it's so awesome. I'll see you guys in another, in another video. Bye. Stay cool.